Okay, now I'm gonna start with the go board fasteners. I'm gonna use the included, included square bit. So I'm actually gonna, here, let's make sure that push up against here. So you see how the paint sticks are leaving the appropriate gapping. And then my studs right here. And put my first, first fastener like that. So the nice thing about the go board fasteners is with the larger head, as you can see, we didn't break through the top facer. So this is a nice recessed uh, installation here. So let's get our next stud right here. Go board fasteners go every eight inches. So all I'm using here is a, a cheap cordless drill. I didn't really have to get fancy on the tools. So just like that. So as you can see, so GoBoard comes with printed uh, you know, nail dots. So these are spaced eight inches apart. With the go board fasteners, we want eight inch spacing. So I'm about, you know, inch and a half above. So I'll come back here and do the same thing. And then we will go across above. have to install the screws in any specific order. I'm just going across here. If you wanted to, you can come all the way down. Each, each stud, I guess that's just personal preference. The other thing that's nice about GoBoard, because it's a, uh, a composite panel, with a high tensile strength outer skin, you can actually get really close to the edge and not have to worry about blowing out corners. And then we're gonna put some screws here on the bottom. If you overdrive a fastener by accident, so let's see it like that. Our recommendation is to go right next to it and put another one in there. And then all you gotta do is just put sealant over that overdriven fastener. Because standard backer board screws have smaller heads, we have to install them every six inches. Okay, and also the underside of the head, if you see here, is designed to dig into you know hard brittle cement boards and gypsum boards go board faster and it is smooth so you'll see as i begin installing here how easy it is to overdrive overdrive a so most cement board screws now come with a star drive so i'm going to go here. So see what happened there? It's so easy to overdrive snowboard screws, which is why we highly recommend using our go board fasteners. So that's approximately six. So you have to be really careful with with snowboard screws, and you have to use more of them. So remember these are eight inches. So I'm doing six. Doesn't have to be perfect. See all that dust come out? That's the grinding action of the nibs underneath the head, which is great 
for cement boards, but not so good for go board. So if you measure the fastener holding strength of this type of fastener, it's about 30 pounds per fastener. Uh, with the go board fasteners, you're more like 70 pounds, 80 pounds, depending on how you installed it. Okay, so I'm gonna switch back.